two years ago, Tom nearly died surfing Kaobomi. Despite coming off his board on a relatively small wave, Ross couldn't get to him in time, and the next wave was enormous. Tons of ocean kept Tom pinned underwater for almost a minute. I knew it was not such a good situation because I opened my eyes up to figure out where to go, because usually there's a bit of light and we can sort of make our way up through the light. When held down underneath the waves so deep and dark and th getting thrashed, we've got no chance. We're completely powerless. The body starts to let go, and that's the moment. And that can be a pretty scary feeling. A hold down of 40 to 50 seconds at a place like Cow's Reef is enough to take a surfer to the edge of drowning. You get thrown around with such violence that uh, it almost feels a little bit too much sometimes. People ask, what do you think? What do you do? I mean, it's a fun place where I go, actually. I, I sort of I put myself in this. You know, I've never really told anyone, but it's like a, it's a nightclub scene. Get thrown around in the turbulence like a rag doll, just spinning round and round. I sort of like spinning on a dance floor kind of thing. And I'm surrounded by all these beautiful women, and there's lights, and there's people smiling. It's a really happy, exciting place. I'm concentrating on all the details at the same time, like the lights, the dresses, the area I'm in, and, and that takes time. Meanwhile, I'm getting thrashed around. By the time I've looked at all the club and the posters on the walls and everyone dancing and romancing, and next minute it's all over and I'm back up. <laughs> 